Generic greetings and welcome to Power Wash Simulator. Today's beverage is a steaming hot cup of freshly made green tea, so I'm going to leave it where it is for now. So Power Wash Simulator, as you might imagine, is a simulation game about power washing. Power washing things like vehicles, driveways, houses, play parks, and apparently Mars rovers for some strange reason. It's a game that I have played some variant of in the past. It was a freely available beta slash demo with only a couple of levels in it, and... Although it was very bare bones, I found the experience, and this was shared by a lot of people that watched the video as well, to be a very relaxing, cathartic, satisfying experience. It was a very chilled out game, and although yes you can stress over pixel perfect cutting in of edging around little stones and things like that, I did overall find it to be a really uh, relaxing experience, and I thought well that's perfect for a bit of a series. It might seem strange to do a series about power washing, but I wanted to sort of share more of those vibes, and that's what hopefully this series will be about. Now, unlike pretty much every other series, and unlike most games I feature, I have not played this. This is pretty much as far as I have got. I've installed it, I've checked the options, I've clicked on specials, and I've clicked on the career mode, but that as far as I have got. So this is going to be a, well, probably a brand new experience for ourselves, unless you've seen it on other channels or played it yourself, etc. So, uh, very, very strange indeed, but hopefully it will be quite good. This is the, not the full release, this is the, let's call it the um, the public commercial release, because it is in early access, so typical disclaimers apply on this one, nothing you see is final, everything's subject to change, there's going to be bugs, etc, and more things to add. Uh, I will put a link in the description for the store page, and you can check out the roadmaps there, etc, etc. With all that said and done, let's jump in and hopefully have a bit of a chill out session so career mode uh, juggle weird and wonderful cleaning jobs and try to make your new power wash business a success okay I have washed, uh, washed, <laughs> I have watched other power washing channels on YouTube, um, like different cleaning and stuff, so yeah, I, I, I find that quite satisfying as well. Anyway, this is Clean the Van Home Garage here, and we're going to click on this one. So this is from Harper Short, the Home Garage. Great news! Finally found a van for you at the auctions under your budget. Don't freak out when you see it, it looks like it's just been dredged from the bottom of a lake. Yep, can agree, but that's a good thing. It meant to be no one else bid on it. They missed out. Underneath the hideous layer of gunk is your perfect workhorse. Engine's a dream, no rust. There's even equipment in the back. Just needs a good hosing down and you're in business. You'll certainly earn your pressure washing stripes getting this clean. So this has earnings. We can actually earn 150 generic units of currency from it. Looks like we have details showing you... Uh, different values and stuff. I'm guessing that's if you clean it or scrap it and there's well messages are actually just a picture and we have a star rating as well So this will be the tutorial and let's just go to start job. So it's telling us uh, our controls there. So we got uh, What's this? So extensions nozzles uh, different soaps. Okay, so there's a lot more already added to um, when I last played it. The jump and pick up. Anyway, we'll go to continue. So let's have a quick uh, mosey around. This is our vehicle here, and we have uh, we have different. Oh, there's different nozzles. So I don't know what these nozzles do. It <laughs> does not tell me at all. So we've got uh, the power washer here. So that is the Prime Vista. 1500 good all-rounder light duty pressure washer we have our extension which is just a stubby gun and then the nozzle we have a right let's see we have a zero degree nozzle provides the narrowest beam of water for maximum pressure that's the red nozzle so it goes um oh yeah so it goes red yellow green which is 15 and then 25 so that the, the harshest is the red the green is the lightest oh no the white one is the lightest forms a wide fan of water at the expense of pressure so if i select that then that's all done and uh oh okay and we can just go and clean all the dirt off this thing so we'll give it a light rinse as you can see and oh i really like the oh that's very shiny now as well so i've seen a lot of the Ah, is that different, like, cleanliest levels, or is that just the... Oh, yeah, it's got, like, it's got, like, um, like water that, uh, you know, it gets wetter and then slowly dries and stuff, and you've got drips on it. I have seen uh, from their store page as well as on, like, their Twitter and stuff, the different, like, the different gifts of uh, what they've done, so I know there's been a lot of stuff added, and I know there's been a lot more effects, but, oh, I love that, see the water dripping down there when we, when we stop that slowly goes down that's very nice and remember all this is in early access so it can only improve in time one would hope so oh indicator clean so i'm just cleaning all the way along i'm really not too sure what sort of model van it is um 
Some I dream RV at the auctions. All creamy like a toffee pie on wheels. Okay, fair enough. So just cleaning all the all the muck off it and the window here. In the demo, and I will be referring to that. Wouldn't know whether to drive it or lick it. <laughs> That's some Harper Shaw there. Um, yeah, in the demo, if you spray things too hard with a high like nozzle or with a high pressure, you can often break things like the like windows and stuff. So I really am trying to obviously avoid that. On the top right, it shows you the percentage cleaned, as well as what your what your spring. So the body is made of metal. Where if I go on the front, it'll say glass. Yeah, okay. So they might have all oh, plastic there as well. So there might be different. Um, there might be different. Let me just go back here and finish this bit off. Yes, I know there's there's uh, some stubborn muck on there. We might have to put some cleaner on it or something. Now, what was cleaner? Was it? Ah, oh. ah! Oh, you can rotate that there, right? What else? What else have we got? There's that there. That's fine. T, nothing. Q, nothing. Tab is showing. Ah, oh, you hold. You press tab, and that shows you the dirt. Uh, that's crouch to get to there. That's whoa. Okay, so that's crouch, and then when you press space to jump, you <laughs> you, you go full send, and uh, nearly hit your head on the on the top there. But anyway, we're we'll giving just a light rinse down. I'm not too sure whether it simulates water flow and drippage. So if I spray up here, will all the muck go down or does it just come off? It feels like it's just coming off, but there you are. And there's the very basics of that. We're going to get on this ladder now. And oh, we can press F to pick up equipment, but I think this will do this. I don't think spraying this indoors is a great idea. I love the effect of the water as it's coming off there. And obviously this is just a vehicle, but later on... What if we get on? Can we get on top of the can? Oh, we can. Uh, I wonder if later on we get more equipment, like the, the things you push up and down driveways and such. <laughs> There's a removals van outside my n nightmare neighbor's place. They're finally going. Whoever moves there is going to need quality pressure washer. Oh, thanks, Harper. Looking out for our interests. That's some really, really uh, stuck on gunk there. What I'm going to do then is switch down. Ah, that's, that's that's really getting that. So what I'm going to do is just go back and forward. There we go. That's nice. Hard to rotate. Getting rid of all this muck. I wonder if it simulates distance to the distance to the target as well. So if we're like that, is that providing more pressure? So this just says body, by the way, this one. So let's go down to there. Let's so clean these windows up. Oh, that really doesn't want to come off. Tell you what, then. Let's go. Give that a real good hit. Ah, so we're going to have to go with this one. The full-on spray. Closest possible. Tie least tightest possible uh, spray there. Spray in the headlights. Let's get the grill done as well. Now, I believe you don't have to get the everything done in one perfect bit. As in, as long as you get the majority of it done, then you're all right. That headlight needs cleaning. I thought it was done. And you see all of the the angle that you attack it at, you get all the all the wash coming off it, which is good. That seems a bit dirty there. Hmm. Anyway, uh, tires may be problematic. If we press tab. Ah, it's an angle thing. There we go. Yeah, just getting the right angle. Right, okay. That's perfect, that's good. We'll get underneath as well. I'm hoping it shows before and after. If it doesn't, that will be a big, big misstep, I think. Big shame. Oh, so you have to do the hubs separately? Yeah, you do, right. 
You're going to go with that business name, or do you need me to think of something else? I'm phenomenal. I thought up Grouting Thomas for the tile, and she'd never look back. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to get all of the... I was going to say accessories, but things like the... The windows and stuff first. Get all those done. Just so we know that just the body left. There we go. This window is absolutely filthy. And later on in the campaign, maybe we'll be unlocking different... Uh... Should we get those done as well? Oh yeah, we do. Definitely. Maybe we'll have to be uh, unlocking like different equipment and stuff. So, maybe have hot water, different soaps. Many options there. Let's go ahead and switch to this. Oh, that's satisfying. In and around there, yeah. And you can see we're actually getting money for cleaning this, which is not entirely accurate, I guess, because obviously it's our own vehicle, but I'm not complaining. It's just an observation rather than a <laughs> uh, complaint. That tyre does say it's bit more dirt, yeah. So I'm going to stand up and get the rest of this body done. As soon as we can get that and press F. Yeah. That's fairly easy to do. Good. Lovely. Clean. Top to bottom. Power washer services. So this is someone else's van that obviously hasn't looked after it, has gone out of business, whatever. And we've swooped in and got it. Got some more stubborn muck there. Dark lane, yeah. Got the second highest one. I guess later on with other stuff we'll have to be very careful on how we clean it. Like you can't just use the highest pressure thing available for glass, because it'll just break it. Just doing these individual doors here. And there's that door. This door will be filthy there. Yeah. Bit more of the chassis you can see there, which I haven't got down to. Alright, underneath. Nice, nice. That's how I haven't done by the look of it. What we're currently on? We're on 41 generic tunes of currency, and our star rating is 4 or 5 stars. So we don't have to go for a full complete, but it would be rude of us not to, wouldn't it? You can hear the different surfaces. He shows on the top there. That is glass. Even that's plastic. See that there? That rubber... Well, I say plastic. It's the rubber seal around it. Okay. And it's just getting the... Rest of the body rinsed down now. The reflection change as well. I mean, I guess it's it is a very technical thing, isn't it? You know, you're gonna put the effects of that in. Oh, look at that doll drip down. It goes <laughs> very much like that. Clean up our logo. Nice, we can put our own logo on a van. That's job complete. Is this the extraordinary Dr. Power Wash? I got your details from a friend at Harper. Yeah. I could really do with a hand at my place when you're free. Job complete. Let's escape to open the tablet. Oh! Oh, what? So it shows how we've done that. I really like that. That's, that's good. That's good. Okay, so. Van looks fantastic. Told you it would be fine under the grime. I've uh, pinged you the £100, well, £100 actually, generic units of currency, that's why we use that, uh, left over from what you gave me, so that should help get you off, uh, off the ground. Also, just met a new neighbour over the fence, grumbling about his dirty backyard, I told him you'd give, it a, give you a shout. Looks like you've got your first customer. Continue. So there we go. Um, so we can see the completed, you can actually play it again by the look of it. So... Is there anything we can do to buy? No, let's just clean the back garden. So this is Calvin Miller, 213 Walnut Street at Muckingham. <laughs> Brilliant. Hey, Doc, I hope you like a challenge, because I'm pretty sure you've got the dirtiest backyard I've ever seen. 
Oh, he's got, sorry, I've got rather than was. Uh, that's not me bragging, by the way. I had nothing to do with it. I've just moved back to town for a bit to help my folks, who are both down uh, to their last knee, and I rented what I thought was a great little place. Should have questions why they went. Any garden picks in the ad, they must be they must have bred rhinos here or something okay anyway my girls are itching to get out there and i don't want them still itching when they get back inside so please do your thing thanks a lot cal fine uh, what else have we got around here i haven't uh checked this out we've got got physics yeah cool uh bike over there water heater toilet tissue oh that's worth it well ooh, that, that can be worth its weight in gold uh, Golden Dawn, Dream, uh, Peach Plum, just paint and stuff. Okay, fine. I was I was going to see if there was any, say... I wonder if we use this to will it break it. No. Uh, I'm trying to see, like, if this will break anything. There's a trophy up there. Oh. What's it say? Best Kept Garden, 1996. All right. I was looking to see if there was any, um... Any laptop or something but there isn't right okay so we will go to level complete yeah uh, that's fine so over to this one start the job let's have a quick look as well oh oh right click is to stay on right so we're gonna have a look at the job uh which we didn't do in the other one but so looking at the job we've got some gravel pathways with some inset stones there as well over to almost crazy paving levels and I'm noticing it's just got a general film of dirt and grime on it but also a lot of footprints looks to be what was a pond but is now dried up and the actual back garden itself is it's colorful bright uh, we have a petrol lawnmower here we have was that a cat just jumped off there <laughs> I think it was uh, we have a shed here as well a swing which I'm guessing we can push can't push it Okay, series cancelled, 2 out of 10. Um, we've got a barbecue. Little birdhouse here with lots of muck on there. And another little pondy bit. Right, I'll tell you what, we'll start off with cleaning the doggo house. So we'll go to the uh, best one here. Uh, sorry, the, the, the biggest spray. Funny enough, my first girlfriend, uh, Florin Prez, uh, Perez, used to live here back in the day. Those were good times. Apparently. So you can see the wood is coming up quite nicely. That says universal, so there's there's wood, metal, plastic, glass, and now there's something called universal. Dog off front door's being done there. So you can see there's different levels of grime. So we've cleaned off the general dirt, but then you've got this stuff here, which is, I'm guessing, really, yeah, really, really caked on there. So we'll give it a good spray. Doghouse roof. I think it simulates both sides. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. That's curious. So I've cleaned what I think is the most of it, unless it's under here. Potentially. Oh, yeah, there we go. In front of that, get underneath it here as well. Hmm. Still waiting for that. Alright, let's just get rid of the rest of this stuff. That's... Oh! <laughs> Those are knots in the wood. I thought they were dirt. Okay. They still look, they look like dirt. Doghouse walls cleaned. So it's just the roof. So, oh yeah, see that, there's apparently dirt on there which I can't see. Hmm. Curious. Yeah. So it says there's some there. Can't see any. Let's clean the ball. Ah, yeah, under there. Thought it might be something like that. I wonder if there's a way to see. I mean, obviously just pressing tab cleans all that up. I wonder if there's a way to see. In like your tablet, yeah. So we can see these are these are clean. Okay. What I'll do is I'm going to clean probably these appliances here. 
and then I'll go back to the uh, to the other stuff. So this is a lawnmower. Very difficult to clean because of the shapes. Stopped for a moment there because I was uh, a bit too close. So I'm just giving it a light all over first. There we are. And from back here. Can't imagine what state this is in. And I can't imagine this is going to help with corrosion <laughs> either. Get lawn more cleaned. At least part of it. And it's getting that different angle, you see. Looks like the lawnmower's cleaned completely. Okay, fine. Let's go with this uh, little kid's car by the look of it. Toy car. Yeah, it is toy car. I can't imagine it's a full-size car. There we go. Get all the dirt. Clean it off. Get the front end. Nice and smiling. Yeah, look, lovely, lovely. And that's what I would say is the majority of that done, but inside. That's that done, I think. Yeah. Um, let's go with this. Upholstery. Is that upholstery or is it just like a plastic? No, that is upholstery by the look of it. Yeah, swing sofa it says, yeah. I'm going to go with like, say... Slightly wider nozzle. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be too caked on this. Oh no, some of it is, look. See, we've got some caked on there. What I'll do then, I think I'll give it a good... A good once over. With the 40% nozzle. And I'll come back. With the... Higher pressure nozzle. Maybe the 25%er. And we'll do that. Yeah, I guess we can, if we want, we can just hold it on longer. And yes, it's not lost on me that we are just doing busy work here. And if you really wanted to, you could just go like this. And across. And then down. And basically do that throughout the entire game. That, yeah, that, that is not lost on me. Um, but as I said, I do find it to be... Uh, Relaxing endeavour. I'm sure that is worthy. Let me just clean some of this off as well. Seems like filthy over here. Don't know what has happened on these chairs. Maybe we'll never know. There was a reason why they were kicked out. But there you are. Alaska we'll neighbours. You might have some stories to tell us. Might not want to hear them. There you are. Let's go to our really harsh nozzle there. And get some this done as well. And I think later on, let's say, you can unlock different nozzles. Oh, getting that chain. <laughs> That's going to be a bit of a pain to get done. Switch to that nozzle. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit better for what we're trying to accomplish here. Yeah, got that. Right to the bottom. And the chain as well. Obviously we're only doing it from one side here, we're just getting the get the worst off. Just from this angle. And there we are to the roof as well. We might have to get some ladders to get up there. We shall see. Attack it from this side now. Rotate that nozzle. Just work our way along. End of the rotate. I wonder if there's uh, sponsorships in this as well because there was uh, some name brand name brand pressure washers in the demo I think. Sure there was. Let's get that chain done as well. Swing it from this side. 
don't think it's done that chain. I think there's a little bit remaining. Oh no, it might be done. Let's have a quick look. Scrolling down. We have the swing sofa chains clean. Just say chains clean. Okay. So more roof. There you go. He's in a horrible state. I'm gonna have to get in that roof somehow as well. Just get the inside as well. That's a thing on uh, on a previous on the previous uh, demo videos. There was one little bit I could never find. I really couldn't. What's that? I've done this. It's still dirty. Just get inside there. That's it. There we are. And just the roof now. So do we have? Yes, we do. We have this ladder over here, and we can sprint. Pick this up and take it over. So I can go there. Jump on here. Do I want to get on the roof? I think I want to get on the roof. We're on the roof. Okay. Rotate the nozzle. Activate. Oh, that's nice. That is satisfying. Doing a nice row on the top tiles here. We are slowly slipping off the roof, though. And I can't imagine that... What's it say? It says universal, this, but it looks like... Sounds like slate. I can't imagine wetting slate tiles and standing on it is a, is a good idea. It's, it's, it's definitely an opportunity to slip off and break bones. And not an opportunity I relish, certainly. Just getting the main muck off here. I think we're using the 20% nozzle. That done. And oh, of course. So I'm going to pick this up. Just put it away. Ah, yes, underneath. Absolutely covered in muck. This is where I can often catch you out. There we go. I'd imagine once we've done this, this will be the swing done. Unless the, unless the frame is still in need of cleaning. Once you get to a certain point, it does just... It does just get it complete. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we've got the barbecue in the birdhouse. We're going to have a little look at the birdhouse. Why not? I mean, inevitably, while doing this, we'll probably catch some of the edging as well. Lots of wood chip there as well. So... If we're using cleaner, we'd have to make sure it's safe to use and non-toxic etc with it's been a birdhouse and you're having things like the plants around here and lots of wildlife etc i'm going to assume that we have the yep yeah, underneath turn all that that's it yeah that's that's it so it's just the edging and the barbecue so i'll do the edging um i'll switch to the uh, which nozzle would be best? Probably the th yeah, probably this th uh, this one here, which is the 15 degree nozzle. Do I find it easier working forward or working back? Working forward's fine. And I'm also, I'm still learning the about the speed I can get away with to clean it. But that was pretty good. That lawn edging. I know there's some lawn edging over here, so I'll do that. There we are. This this point, though, hopefully. The Custom would come out with a nice cup of tea. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah. And we're not doing this. We're doing this in a basically the perfect day as well. <laughs> you know, we can. You know, we're looking around and it's uh, sun shining and everything. Whereas if it was absolutely hailing down or you know <laughs> loads of rain, thunder, lightning, then uh, we would not be liking this as much. More edging here. It's good that it's all sectioned off so you can get big lumps of it done. Although you see there, I've now missed out bits. And I'm having to go back to finish off what I've missed. But then it all gets highlighted. 
Um, I think we'll tackle the sh No, we'll tackle this. We'll tackle this. So we'll get the base done first. See, as I said, I wonder if um, in the future there will be more simulation added for like where the muck goes. So if you clean... I'm cleaning all of this to get all the muck off it. Well, realistically, if we were to do this and then work on the barbecue, surely a lot of that dirt will then end up around here. So I wonder if they're going to end up adding in sort of uh, muck and water pooling simulation. Who knows? It seems perhaps beyond the scope of the game, but I really don't know. I've, I've had a quick look at the roadmap, which incidentally, I could be wrong, but I, did it mention co-op? Imagine that'd be quite a quite a fun thing. Uh, if actually, I don't know if fun is the right term. I guess I do enjoy the game, but it's not a laugh a minute game. But just a nice chill out game. There's that done. Yeah, I'm gonna rotate the nozzle. Oh. Getting all this bottom engine here for the barbecue patio trim. Most of that's already done, but we'll just get around the back. See, this is where we can, well, may experience problems. Where if it asks us to, say, get around the back of this edging, we would be very much, um, <laughs> well, we'd have to call in a different service, and it would be to trim that entire hedge back by a couple of feet so we can get access to it. So I'm just hoping that we don't encounter levels like that that are not completable. Or incompletable. Incompletable. Uh, not finished. Do we have to clean the gas bottle? Gas supply? We do have to clean the glass, uh, gas supply. Also this food shelf. A lot of muck on that one. A lot of muck. It's really not coming off that control panel at all. It is not having any of it. Right. For those stains that you really need to get your... Oh, really get get covered in water. <laughs> ah, so here we go. This is a problem. I'm having to clean around here. Oh, doesn't matter. We've got it. we got it. Right, so that looks fairly clean to me. Is that just water? Yeah, that's just water. It's slowly evaporating. So obviously the main bit's over here. Um, let's finish the shed. Yeah, I'm not convinced that's a, a decent, a great nozzle. I like the 15%. Because it's not getting everything totally clean, but it's getting the majority of the muck off. Whereas if we go with the light one, the 40%, or even the, I think it was the 25%, it's, it doesn't seem to do much. You end up having to spend loads of time sitting on it. But it's good that those options are there. Do you have to clean the, the wind chime? You do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, that's classed as shed decoration, right? Okay. That's nice. There's the door done. Got some sort of star up there as well. Clean. Clean. I love when it hits the the water hits. It's like s reflecting off and spraying in different directions because of the, the pressure and such. That's nice. And there's the glass. I'm just cutting around the glass. It still prompts some stuck on muck. Take it from a different angle. Still not removing it. We might have to use the the red nozzle on this one. Higher pressure. Yeah. Hesitant to do so because on the glass it might break it. But I'll do my best. There we go, that's clean. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do the decorations first. And basically so it's just the only thing that's left is the shed um, exterior. Take the different angles. 
There we are. And then this one. I'm cleaning this with the 15%. But I know I'll have to go back and clean it with the the zero fan. Oh, that bit off there. No problem, no drama, we'll come back to it. And majority that done. Let's go a different angle. Just in case you get yeah, for that reason. There we go. Right, back to the back to the shed. The roof will be a separate piece as well. Now here's one thing I want to see. Yeah, so you see when I was spraying at that angle, it looks like it's sort of fragment. The water's like hitting that edge and sort of fragmenting off. And we look up and we see yes, it has clean bits, but it hasn't cleaned all of it. That's okay. I like that mechanic. Uh, how much money you paid for this job? Currently on 212 generic units of currency for the job. No star rating note at all yet. So this is a big job. Definitely a big job. Oh, shed foundation is different, is it? Tell you what then, I'm going to go around and do that. New job available. I because got one star. Florilin, uh... Flora and I would like to climb up and down that rock garden all day, pretending we are on rumbling mountain rushes and the pond of the crater. Very good. Don't know how that helps me with power wash business, but, uh, you know, nice, nice speed room. Right, we'll finish off this side of the shed, then we'll go down the back. This just says shed. That's all it says. It doesn't say what type. Joe, uh, average. <laughs> What's up? Do you do bikes? Could do with some uh, running the thing of my... Deadbeat dirt bike. Okay, so there's a dirt bike cleaning job coming up. In the demo, there was only two jobs. There was the first one was a house where we got taught the lesson: don't use the highest pressure to clean windows because it breaks them and you get, you know, penalties. And then the other one was like a play park, which I never got 100% complete. I think it was 99% and I could never find the other bit. People did point out in the comments, several suggestions. I never, I, I think I did find it in the end. But it was after the, after the video was released, sadly. I wasn't going to do a follow-up for just one little section. I imagine once we've got this done, the majority of this will be clean then. Just looking at the top left, really, in that little bar moving down. And eventually it'll go ting, and the whole thing gets done. Yep, right, so we need to go up the top. So over to this, press F to pick up this. We can, yes, uh, use our mouse uh, wheel to turn it round and give us access to the top of the shed. So let's go ahead and get the shed roof done. Lots of bird muck up here as well, you can see. So at least that's been added. I guess all of this has been handcrafted. So if someone has literally spent their day adding bird muck to the top of a shed. So, you know, <laughs> time well spent. Um, I wonder if we'll get randomly generated jobs. I mean... I guess that's not out of the question. Flat plane, randomly spawn different things in it, like the cars and barbecues and that. I mean, obviously, it'll be a lot more complex than that, but that's where it could go. Just cleaning off the rest of this. And then it'll be underneath, yeah, under this little bit. So just right under here, getting the shed roof done. These are the little bits that at the time in the demo were really difficult to spot. Just getting every little nook and cranny here. Eventually the roof's going to go pink. There it goes. So it looks like the shed is done. And it's just all of this and the fence. 
So I think we are going to leave it there for this episode. Because we've done the full van and we've done half the garden. And the, it's already a, a longish episode. So we'll leave it there for now. Not too bad at all. 25% cleaned. Because this is the majority of the job. So next episode we will clean the rest of this. And see what uh, what the fortune that we gain brings. We might be able to get some upgrades. We might be able to move on to a different job. The fun, as always, is in finding out. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for different ways to... Go about cleaning different uh, processes or uh, methods, etc. By all means, let me know. Hopefully, this has been a enjoyable and relaxing experience. I wanted this to be a chill series, so hopefully, it is that, if nothing else. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.